Hi, I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to set up Amplitude 3 as a plugin within MainStage and then use the MainStage functionality to control the stomp boxes within Amplitude 3's presets. So I'm going to start off simply with, uh, with a basic template within MainStage. So I'll just choose this uh, single preset template right here and then I'll just set it up whatever way that, uh, that I need to. Um, so it'll just bring me up with this uh, standard template with one preset. Uh, since we're talking about Amplitude 3, I think I'll just create a new patch that is dedicated to Amplitude 3 just to make things quite, um, quite clear. So let's just call this Amplitude 3. That's OK. And uh, let me do a little bit of cleanup here as well, again, just to make it clear. And I'll name this uh, channel strip uh, Amplitude 3 as well. Okay, so there are, really there are three different sets of activities that we have to do in order to get everything working properly. And the first thing is for us to program our MIDI controller. And in my case, I'm using a Behringer FCB 1010 uh, MIDI foot controller. And so to program that so that it has um, the right CCs that we're going to be using. And then the next piece will be to then have MainStage recognize that. And then the third will be to do the actual Amplitude 3 configuration. So let's start off by doing the uh, my MIDI controller configuration. And I'll bring up my editor for uh, my FCB 1010. And I did a, a little bit of setup uh, beforehand. So I'm going to use, if I just click up to bank one here, uh, I'm going to assign the FCB bank one uh, foot switches 1, 2, 3, and 4 to correspond with 1, 2, 3, and 4 within um, within main stage just to make it a little clearer. So for switch number 1, bank 1, I'm sending CC21 with a value of 0 and then 2, I'm sending 22 and so on and so forth. So 3 is sending 23 and 4 is sending 24 just with that single value. I've just made a little note over here so I remember what it is I actually programmed those for because I'm forever uh, forgetting what I programmed some of my foot switches for. Okay, so the FCB 1010 has been configured and just to double check that it is sending out the right um, or correct MIDI values and MIDI messages, I'll use MIDI monitor just to confirm that. And my MIDI monitor right now is listening to my Fast Track Pro. Um, interface and attached to that is the FCB 1010. So now what I'll do is I'll step on my FCB 1010 foot switch one bank one and I should get CC 21 within this window. And there we go, we get 21. Then I'll step on two and three and four. Okay, so now I know then that uh, that my foot switch is sending out the right, the right MIDI messages. So that's okay. So now let's go back into main stage. And the next point here is uh, we need to program mainstage to recognize the external uh, the external controller. So we'll go into layout mode for that, and I'll select the first stop box switch, and then click the learn function. And then I'm going to step on uh, first switch one, back one, and that should learn CC21, which it did. Let's go to the next one. Stepping on two, it learned 22. I'll go to the third, click that and it's learned 23 and then the fourth should learn 24 and it did okay so our MIDI controller learn is is complete but let's just double check that let me click on this first one 21 the second is 22 the third is 23 and the fourth is 24 okay so that piece is done um, so now we go into edit mode and we will then bring in the amplitude 3 uh, plug-in. So let me just grab hold of that and uh, what I'll do is I'll just select a preset. This can be any preset but uh, uh, I'll just choose one. It doesn't really matter what it is at this point in time and see if there's any stops within that. And there aren't any, so that's fine. So let's just uh, let's just add in some stops to correspond to our main stage setup. And at this point in time, I'll just choose anything. It really doesn't matter. Um, we can use anything here. Okay, 
And, um, yeah, sure. Let's use that. All right, so we have four stomp boxes set up here. Now those four stomp boxes within the preset are going to map to these four stomp box controls within main stage. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is the actual mapping of, uh, of the main stage stomp boxes to the amplitude stomp boxes. Okay, so now that we have our stomp boxes uh, all set up within amplitude, let's let's do some mapping. So, um, what we need to do is assign each one of these buttons to mappable parameters, so that we can then in turn map it within uh, within main stage. So the way you do that is just right click on the stomp switch itself, assign automation. And for this one, I'm going to stop box one. I'll just assign to parameter one, and we'll just follow that convention. Second will be to two, and third will be to three. So assign automation bypass three, and the same thing for the final one. Okay, so at this point in time, we have the uh, we have these switches assigned to the parameters within uh, within amplitude, and now we just need to then do the mapping of our four switches to these four switches within um, within amplitude itself. So let me select the first one and I'll choose amplitude three and uh, actually let me just move this over a little bit and uh, amplitude three I'm going to do map parameter and then just choose my first parameter right there. Now I'm probably going to have to do my in inversion here because you can see my stop box light is on but this actual stop box within amplitude is is off so you do that just by clicking this invert parameter range right here and uh, now when I click both of them they should be uh, on and off. Okay so we'll repeat the process for uh, each one so let's go into the second one now and We'll assign that to our uh, our parameter two. So let's just do map parameter and assign it within here. Okay, and I'll do the uh, the invert range uh, just to make sure both of them are going on and off. And then we will follow suit for the third and the fourth. So I'll click the third, and it's going to be amplitude three uh, map parameter, and I'll choose that. And again, the same thing. Now, depending on it, you can kind of fiddle with the stop box states here to begin with to make sure that they're right. You don't have to invert the parameter, but uh, just for the purposes of what we're doing right now, it also gives an example of what that invert parameter uh, can be used for. Okay, and we'll go into the fourth and choose amplitude and parameter. Uh, actually, tell you what, let me back up and do parameter right here. Okay, and I'll do the invert parameter range, and we should be good to go. Okay, so now at this point in time, uh, let's just do some testing, and I'll go into, um, uh, I'll tell you what, let's just do it right here so we, we, we can actually see. So I'll line this up so that uh, one is lined up to one, two with two, three with three as best as I can here. They don't quite line up, but close enough. And then off camera, I'll just step on my um, FCB 1010. Right now, I'm stepping on foot switch one, and we should see uh, this light for stomp, bo stomp box one go on, and then stomp box one light up right here. Okay, so that's on, that's on. And the same thing for two. You can see two lighting up, and let's check three. And three is on, and four is on. So now, um, I can just choose any switch that I want, and I'm able to toggle those those different um, those different amplitude um, stomp boxes on and off, uh, depending on what I'm actually selecting. Okay, so uh, that uh, pretty much does it. Let's just get another look here within this screen. The screen's a little bit bigger, so you can see on is corresponding to on. Same thing here, and let's just, I'll, I'll just uh, randomly do it. I'll choose foot switch two. So I'll switch stunt box two off, and let me do four. And I'll choose, uh, I'll put two back on and then turn one off. So you can see that they were all, they're all mapped, okay? So that is how you map stunt boxes within, um, 
within Amplitude 3 and main stage if there's any questions or comments, uh, I welcome them all. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.